to start over. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. To, to glare. Uh, I got it. Okay, I'll close this again. We'll just start from scratch here. So I'm going I'm to open up the direct live icon. It's going to go out. It's going to search for whatever units are available on the network. So it found this one. If it only finds one, it will pop up a little start direct live um, dialog box. So we're going to say, I'm going to say yes. And it'll take about 30 seconds or so to pop up the next screen in direct. Once this box opens up, then you got to click on it. For some unknown reason, they make you click on the Direct Live Installer. And now this is where you tell it what speakers you're going to be actually directing. So in this case, we're going to be doing um, one, two, three, four. We have a 7.1 and one subwoofer. So we're going to turn on all eight the first channels. Um, in this situation, we don't have any multiple speaker drivers. So if we did have, say, two left surrounds and two right surrounds, we would have to click on the multiple speakers box here. And that tells it not to do impulse correction because it can't, do, it can't impulse correct a speaker that's coming in at two different time frames. So, um, so we've done that. Uh, now we're going to play pink noise on each channel and make sure we're in the proper level. <laughs> 